What's up, guys? It's Cabalis here, and today we're going to react to a video called Five Children's Songs with Dark Origins. If you guys want to check out the original video, the link will be in the subscription down below. And to be honest, it's, it is it is getting close to being Halloween, and it, it is going to be creepy, as I can tell the way from the, the way I look at it at the picture. So, um, uh, yeah, um, I wonder what kind of uh, children's songs we're going to deal with that are have dark origins so um let's find out ourselves so yeah let's check it out so uh let's get to it the matter meets many children's songs sound surprisingly eerie and ominous and that is by no coincidence for some of these songs here are five children's songs with surprisingly disturbing origins. <laughs> Mary, Mary, quite contrary, I have heard of this one before. Grow, with silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. You may have heard the song as a child and thought it was innocently referring to gardening. However, the origins are much darker. It is believed that this song is actually referencing Queen Bloody Mary I of England. Her garden growing is a reference to her body count, and silver bells and cockle shells were nicknames for two of her favorite torture devices. What? The last line in the song is thought to refer to her well-used guillotine, which she nicknamed the Maiden. Not such a cute little song about flowers anymore, is it? Well, that were in the song. Don't you ever the her song. To die, they wrap you up in a big white sheet from your head down to your feet. That's not for kids' songs. The her song has never needed any extra context to be incredibly eerie. Detailing the grotesque process of decomposition after death, this song is a bit striking to hear sung by a smiling child. This song is prevalent in many areas in America and Britain, and the lyrics seem to be a bit different everywhere you go. The song can be traced as far back as the First World War, and is possibly even older than that. It's thought that the song was originally meant to be used as a sort of scare tactics parents would use to ensure their children be respectful of the dead. But nowadays, the meaning seems to be lost, and most children seem to sing it simply for the gross-out factor. Damn that. Mm -mm. Goosey, goosey, gander, wherever shall I wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. There I met an old man who wouldn't say his prayers. So I took him by his leg and threw him down the stairs. What the hell? Goosey Goosey Gander. This morbid song has always had a sinister sound to it. But the origins are believed to be even worse. It is believed that the song is referring to 16th century Europe, where Catholics were being persecuted and murdered. Oh. Priests in specific had the largest targets on their backs. Those who could track them down and murder them were often rewarded. What the, the most popular method of execution was tying their legs up and throwing them down a flight of stairs which just so happens to fit eerily well with the last line of this song. Oh, no, no. Whoever does that immediately goes to hell. London Bridge? No! No, I remember this song. I remember this song. What the hell is wrong with this one? London Bridge. 
The idea of children singing about a large piece of infrastructure crumbling to destruction is creepy enough, but it's thought to have so? even darker roots. It is believed by some that this song is referencing the old practice of sacrificing children to new structures. No, not the kids! That a sacrifice could ensure longevity and safety in your structures. So, at one time, there was a practice of closing a live child up inside the walls, no. leaving them to starve or dehydrate to death. No! This thought gets even creepier when you consider the game that accompanies the song, where children form a bridge of sorts with their arms, where other children run through as the song is sung. But at the end of the song, the children drop their arms, Trapping the last child inside the bridge. Oh, hell no. No. Now they ruined this. Your house is on fire and your children gone. All except one, and her name is Anne. What the f? under the baking pan. I never heard of this one before. Ladybug. To this day, the true origins of this incredibly morbid rhyme isn't entirely known. There are many speculations, depending on who you ask. Some say it's simply a song that sprung up with the farmers who would release swarms of ladybugs onto their crops to protect them from pests. When it came time to burn the fields for the new year, they would sing it in hopes of warning the ladybugs to flee to safety. However, Another darker origin is also believed. Ladybugs had long been used by European pagans as a symbol for goddess worship. It's thought that this song could be in reference to warning the pagans of Europe to flee as Christianity began peaking. The line, your house is on fire and your children are gone, could refer to the destruction and burning of pagan temples and the execution of its practitioners. The last line, referring to Anne creeping under the baking pan, could be a reference to the pagans that had gone into hiding to survive. It's quite amazing just how disturbing wow. the origin of many children's songs actually are. Were you already aware of some of these origins? Yeah, a few. Or did it come as a childhood crushing shock? Wow, that video ended up ruining some of the uh, childhood songs. Because I recognize the uh, London Bridge, but other songs like the Hearse song and the uh, 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 the Ladybug, I don't think I ever heard that one before. I mean, there's like some songs I have heard of this one before, but I mean I can't remember exactly what type of songs that I remember growing up was creepy. I can't think of anything right now, but this song or this video fits perfectly for Halloween, so. I don't know. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, comment below, subscribe, share, give a thumbs up, do whatever. Because once you get the original video, the link will be in the description down below. So, yeah, thanks for watching.